5G infrastructure plays a significant role in the modern digital landscape and is poised to revolutionize various industries by enabling faster speeds, lower latency, increased capacity, and connections of billions of devices worldwide. And talking worldwide, our top 10 roundup highlights a variety of companies and how with widespread geographical presence, their efforts to expand 5G infrastructure deployments on a global scale, both while in competition with like-minded business and by working together towards a common goal. Before we begin, please make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button to keep up to date with the latest in mobile news. And with that, here we are, the top 10 global 5G infrastructure companies, their leaders. Starting off our list at number 10 is Tian Chong Ng from Singtel Asia's leading communications technology group, Singtel. They invest in research and development and have received recognition for its thought leadership and achievements in 5G infrastructure. They joined as Chief Exec Officer in May 2023 for a decade at HP and contribute to Singtel's efforts in 5G infrastructure development, network deployment and overall strategy implementation. In at number 9, we have Annabelle Huo from Comba Telecom, a 5G infrastructure giant known for its comprehensive portfolio of solutions, research and deployment focus. Comba Telecom contributes to the development and deployment of 5G networks on a global scale. Annabelle is Comba's Senior Vice President and has extensive experience in the telecommunications industry and contributes to the company's 5G product development and market expansion. Coming in at number eight, we have Pedro Torres from Comscope. With partnerships and a focus on innovation, Comscope contributes to the development and deployment of 5G networks worldwide, addressing diverse market needs and is recognized for its industry leadership and commitment to advancing 5G technology. Torres regularly makes appearances in videos and on panels about 5G to enhance industry and customer understanding including on topics such as making rollouts easier and greener, accelerating deployment and ongoing 5G needs. At number seven, we have Thomas Arnoldner from A1 Group. Although uncertain of what the future holds, A1 Telecom attests it is geared up for future demands. The brand's unleashing the potential of digitization by accelerating 5G rollout plans across CEE markets. CEO Ardelder heads up A1 and his future-orientated, optimistic and passionate outlook to leadership, partnered with his extensive experience, propels A1's place as a 5G infrastructure company. In at number six, we have Yusuke Kiga from NEC Corporation. Kiga is responsible for global go-to-market strategy and sales of NEC's open network portfolio covering mobile network infrastructure, software and services. NEC has been recognized as a visionary in the Gartner Magic Quadrant for 5G network infrastructure for communication service providers and provides and continues to play a leading role in 5G. Marking the halfway spot on our list is Mark Wally from Fujitsu. Fujitsu's experience in comprehensive solutions, strategic partnerships, research and development efforts and global presence contribute to its standing as a significant player in the 5G infrastructure domain. They became head of products 5G Edge in April of this year and will lead the brand which has made significant contributions to the development and deployment of 5G infrastructure to continue its impact worldwide. At number four, we have Abdul Razak Memon from Huawei. Dr. Memon boasts more than 25 years of industry experience, including over 13 at Huawei. Memon's engaged in designing and configuring various IoT and 5G vertical solutions, along with various ecosystem partners. In April, Huawei executives revealed 5.5G connectivity that will take consumers closer to the peak speed of 10 gigabits per second. Download as 5G speeds worldwide decreased thanks to broader adoption of its connectivity on existing networks. Moving into our final three entries, and in at number three is David Cooper from Ericsson. 
Ericsson was the first company to bring 5G to four different continents and has been able to roll out 5G using their existing hardware. The 5G service is available to 63 countries and there are 147 live networks. Cooper's worked for Ericsson for more than 18 years before taking on the role of CTO, spent six and a half years as head of networks, 5G and IoT, alongside an 11 year stint as head of sales and engagement practices. In at number two is Terry McCabe from Nokia. Celebrating enterprise customers partnering with them to deliver the extraordinary, Nokia has 286 commercial 5G deals worldwide, 98 live 5G operator networks. McCabe, like the company he works for, is focused on digital transformation, cloud technology and evolved communications. Although Nokia boasts an array of 5G achievements, in 2021, Nokia, in partnership with TPG Telecom, deployed Asia-Pacific's first live 5G femtocell, with the solution allowing operators to provide their customers with superior indoor 5G coverage. Finally coming in at number one, we have Dr. Wu Jung Kim from Samsung. Samsung continues to push for 5G delivery and provides commercial 5G services across the world. Dr. Kim was at the forefront of how Samsung made preparations to lead the 5G era. With an extensive knowledge of cutting-edge technologies, including 5G, Kim's blend of in-depth knowledge and the ability to manage a diverse team of engineers and business has helped catapult Samsung to the forefront of the 5G game. Kim also consulted the likes of the UK government on how Samsung's building and managing secure, high-performing, reliable 5G networks across the world. And with that, we come to the end of our list. We hope you've enjoyed this top 10 video brought to you by July's edition of Mobile Magazine. If you did, do make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and why not check out some of our other videos whilst you're there. We'll see you next time.